Well, what's going on, guys? Um, heading up to Oregon right now. Uh, I'm in Crescent City. Hit a thrift shop real quick. Um, hit the pawn shop first. Nothing there. Uh, I hit a thrift shop that I have uh, managed to pull some pretty good shit out of. Um, I had a little bit today. Uh, a little PS1 bundle here. Um, dude originally said 30 bucks. So I was like, no way. Uh, I was like, no, I'm thinking like 15. He goes, nah, 20. I was like, nah. He goes, all right, 17. All right, fine, 17. Um, PS1 Mini. Really good shape. This one actually is nicer than mine, so I'll probably keep this one. Um, they powered on. The disc spins and everything. Uh, you know, hopefully it does work, but... If it doesn't, I can I can bring it back to the guy. It's pretty cool about that. Um, but it is it's a little dirty, but it's it's in better shape than mine, so it will clean up nice. Um, the AV cable and power cable and the uh, actual white controller that goes with it um, with an extension cord. And these are always kind of cool. Um, that's really dirty. That needs to be cleaned up. Um, one memory card. And five games. Five games. Oh, and the uh, actual manual for the mini. Which is kind of cool. I don't have one of those. Um, most of these games are pretty fucking cheap. But one of them is decently priced. Even though it's the greatest hits. Uh, Shrek Treasure Hunt. It's like $4. Wheel of Fortune. $4. Beyblade, four dollars. Cubics, five dollars. And then Crash Bandicoot Warped, twenty dollars on that. Even though it's greatest hits, they usually still hold their value. At, you know, usually what they're going for. So uh, unless it's something like Castlevania Symphony of the Night or something, obviously the black label of that's going to be worth more. So seventeen bucks for that stuff, and the day is just starting. Um, I got a lot more stops to hit, and we'll see what happens. I guess.